Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Rotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be doing something a little strange here today. We're going to be going for a multitasker wrench run. So on paper, this is a build that looks very smart. You know, like if you just look at it as pure on paper, it seems very, very good because multitasker can hold 12 weapons. If 12 of those weapons are wrenches, they are going to be doing one damage pretty much if you don't go for damage on them. However, you have 12 turrets guaranteed that all don't get that damage penalty that this character gets. People look at this uh, this setup like something that you should work around, and it's I don't think it's necessarily the case. I, I found that this character is very strong and fun. Just getting 12 weapons and the stacking percentage damage to overcome it. This character starts to actually just do twice as much damage as every other character. It's very good. The wrench situation is weird because technically you have good damage. It's just kind of unreliable uh, in different places. And you are not in control of it. Kind of like the typical engineer, but you don't have that bonus benefit to the amount of engineering percentage uh, uh, upgrades that you get. And you also don't get the guarantee that they're going to spawn in places that aren't stupid. Um, so, I don't know. It, it can be nice. It's just, I promise, it's, it's a little bit... Uh, it's what I would call bait. Ugly Tooth is going to be good, though. We, we will like that. That's actually, like, finding that super early is going to really help us out, in my opinion. Um, and the reason I think so is because... Yeah, the wrench is just... It's a slow weapon. It doesn't do uh, very much damage. So if we have to focus all in on engineering, we're obviously going to be doing basically nothing uh, ourselves. So we just want to stack engineering, stack tankiness, do all of that. Um, but really, yeah, my, my problem with it is it's just... I don't know. It's taken a character that I find actually pretty fun and pretty strong, and it makes it... Ooh, huge. It just makes him a little bit more weak, a little bit more stinky, if you will. I'll take the armor for sure. Ugly Tooth is a really big get, but we have to roll for our wrenches now. It's like, it's a very important situation. We'll take that. But we'll want attack speed. We might want like a little bit of knockback, but we're gonna get, gonna, gonna want to, what? <laughs> Go very, very, very tanky. Very, very fast. Lots of uh, health, lots of armor, lots of probably HP regen. We don't get the life steal off of the uh, the turret situation, or at the very least, I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to. Um, either way, lots of dodge, lots of armor, lots of that. Uh, and then stacking engineering whenever it shows up, of course. But really, the strength of this run will pretty much just come from... Uh, I'll definitely take that pretty much just come from how many free turrets and landmines we get. That's kind of my biggest issue with engineering builds. They're so feast or famine based off of entirely like how many like the difference it makes a run where you get pretty lucky with uh, bonus turret drops and one where you don't. It's a little bit weird. You can see we're already no longer one-shotting enemies so we're kind of Falling into the, the back lines of our own build already. The good news, I will say, one thing that makes this build uh, better than it used to be, probably. Flame turrets got buffed. Like, that's a really... Ooh, it's a really noticeable thing. Good God, I want to buy those things so bad, but... It, um, the flame turrets do a lot more damage now. They used to kind of be, like, the bad tier. You'd want to skip over them for the most part. But now they're going to be doing a little bit more, which is very exciting because guess what? When you have 12 weapons, you don't get to upgrade them very much. That's the other reason why multitasker with uh, uh, wrenches is bad, in my opinion. Because I think the ideal form of a wrench build uses, you know, full le or at least as many legendary wrenches as you can get. This all being said... It has, you know, it has merit. It has merit, and on paper, it, it is totally functional. I think we just, just need to go a lot tankier than I'd like and play a lot more, I don't know, boring than I than I want to. Finally, some engineering. Finally, some good food. Sure, lemonade's not bad. I just want to tunnel vision my wrenches here. Book. I feel like we might have skipped over a book. What the hell is this? Uh, is that duct tape? Oh, it's duct tape and ugly tooth is what's making that happen there. 
But yeah, our turrets are doing some okay damage. They're they're not too shabby. But yeah, I feel like the the better engineering builds kind of don't overly rely on the turrets. The turrets are just the best part of the run. But like, you can defend yourself, kill enemies with the uh, the weapons you have. And the more wrenches we pick up, the worse our wrenches are going to be. And I don't think that it's going to be too mathematically sound to focus too much on damage percentage to fix it. But it's hard to say. It's really, really hard to say. Because that's the thing. is The, the th thing that makes this so good on paper is the same thing that makes it... Oh, sure. Kind of difficult to decide what to level up, what to upgrade. Okay, some of that. A little bit of armor. Definitely take medical turret, extra engineering. The other thing is, it's not bad. More trees? I, I want it, but also no. Jungle of power, no thank you. Bag, I guess I'll take it, but I really need to get some speed up. All right. So one medical turret is good. Like, if we can get... I don't know. If we get three medical turrets or something, baby, you got a stew going. At that point, like, you're in there. Yeah, we're already a little in hell. We got to walk them through turret, uh, the turret apocalypse. But we're, we're doing okay. Doing okay. Not so bad right now. And to be fair, to be clear, I do think this can and probably will win. I'm not trying to, to downplay by that. I just, like... I don't know. When you get suggested to do the exact same thing every single day for, you know, months and months and months. I have a, a weird... The, what's the reverse of a soft spot <laughs> for this for this build? Uh, dodge down, max HP up. I could, but I do want dodge. You know what? Sure, it's fine. HP regen's great. Another wrench. Our final wrench there. Uh, snake is actually logical because we're going to have lots of blue turrets. So that's actually going to be pretty good. Dynamite could be nice too. We don't know. I don't think that we're going to get... Uh, I mean, we might find a legendary wrench that... Or a legendary... I mean, yeah, we could find a legendary wrench. Just straight up. But we can find a legendary turret. Like, that is an item that you can get. And that has the explosion. And then, of course, uh, we could find, like, pickup landmines. Just the random... I don't know what to call them. How do, how do you differentiate them? Item landmines? The landmine item or the turret item? Because it just spawns another turret the same way that the wrench does, or spawns a landmine the same way that the screwdriver does. So it's hard to differentiate it, right? But, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to go for screwdrivers uh, as, you know, for my weapon, but I would love landmines as a pickup. Why not? Oh my god, that hurts. Whoop! Okay. Okay. That's something. Lumberjack shirt is a great pickup. I'm going to get the, the onion, even though I... Okay. This is nice, but scary. Uh, this is all nice, but kind of scary. I need a, I need speed, and I need attack speed, but I have to get my big engineering upgrade. If, um, if Snake does not spread the fire from the turrets, I quit. It might not, but it'd be stupid if it didn't. Ow. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of issues when we get enemies that can't be knocked back, I think. Will be our biggest problems. I'm trying to locate uh, my healing turrets right now. I can't... can't see them in the mess. Oh, there's, they're both down to there at the bottom right. That's actually huge. If both of the turrets are in the same general location, that's really big for us. I, I will say, like, that's... I actually feel really confident in the run, literally just because I found two medical turrets. I find them so often, in general. Nine speed's huge for us. I feel like I find medical turrets really often, but it's just, like, it's so easy to be, like... To pass them up. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many runs where they're... 
where you don't use it. Dangerous Bunny, I would almost go as far as to say that son of a gun. Ooh, maybe. That son of a gun is an uh, an engineering item. Because <laughs> uh, you want to reroll the shop as much as possible with this character. You want to be able to. Okay, the medical turrets spawned on each other again. Is this Was this change that was made? So I kind of want to take a hit and see what it looks like. Yeah, that okay, that's dumb. That is some dumb healing. I'm going to want some armor. I'm going to want some uh, some health, some dodge, everything as well, of course. But look at that regen just standing by those turrets. That's stupid. Has nothing to do with wrenches, but it's really good. I've always known that medical turret is kind of a kind of a busted item. There's a few builds in the game that I think are really tricky to pin down how strong they are just because of a few items that are a little ex like a little too good. So like you could play a run and the first time with it you get that item and you think, "Oh, well this weapon is good." But then you play it again and you don't get that weapon. And you're like, "Am I am I dumb? <laughs> am I stupid?" What's going on? This was so easy last time. I'm trying to figure out if I want Strange Book. I'll I'll take it. I mean, handcuffs would be good, like really good as a result later. Incendiary turret, happily. I feel like I might have skipped it already once. Sad tomato, very happily. Well, now we can't take elemental damage down as a result. So that's a little bit weird. Oh, shoot. Were we on a horde wave? I didn't get to check. I think we are. We hate these guys. We got to keep them back. Back, you fools. We have one medical turret over here, one medical turret over to the left. There's nowhere we can stand where we get both of the uh, the benefits. God, it's, it's just a chaotic ping pong run. Ow. Ow. And yet, we, we, we're just... We're just very, very uh, survivable. Heal me. You're back. Ow. Heal me. Yeah. I just, like, I'm taking as much engineering stuff as I can. It's just... It only goes so far, gang. It really does. Uh, I don't want dodge down right now. This is three engineering. The attack speed is really nice, but I don't think I can tunnel it. Uh, it's four engineering. Okay, all right. No, it's been it's totally, totally checking out as being valuable. Linky, good get. Uh, compass is a great pickup as well. So it's recycled. This is actually that was just a very good shop all around there. All right, we might be uh, we might be fine. That last wave made me feel like I was uh, in no-go land, like we were going to kick the bucket, but considering it was our horde wave, we we did make it through. I guess I'd be surprised if we died on this one. Oh, maybe if we walk into that guy, though. We hate the unknockbackables. We have one healing turret here. Where's the other one? Where's my other one? I feel like I saw it somewhere. Oh, they're just both over here. That's really nice. I almost wish there was like a little like on-screen tiny pointer that pointed you towards your uh, your medical turrets. I know it'd probably get annoying, especially if you had a lot of them, but yeah, we're totally fine here. I have made a nice, very, very tanky build, which I don't think is what people were uh, people assume is good about this build, right? Like you don't. You're not like, do this build. It's really good at being tanky. 20 luck is nice, but I have to go with the HP. Uh, I can get a little bit of armor. Another dangerous bunny is a must take. Mastery, I could. I could take mastery. I'm not going to, though. Wandering bot is probably like a best in slot. <laughs> On pretty much any run that I'm playing that it's like, this run is bad, you want wandering bot. Wandering Bot, not that relevant on, like, god-tier glass cannon runs. Like, really powerful, really, really, really meaty, one-shot kill, destroy everything in one hit. It's one of those items. It's it's like um, community support. 
where you get you get it on a, a run that's terrible. Like if you're running six planks and you get a community support or two, it's like, oh my god, plank is such a good item. No, community support is a good item that thrives on bad items. Plank isn't good. <laughs> you you won you win despite plank. You never win because of plank. Like, can you make it have some potential benefits? Sure, we have seen it in the past, but never more than any other, like, explosive weapon in the game, let alone any other weapon. And there's there's just some things that are like that. Oh my god. This sure as hell feels like a horde wave, but I think that's just because everything feels like a horde wave to this build. Because I have no... I have no control. No real control here. Thank God for my tankiness, though. Everything is just kind of slowly dying, which is really, really nice. Uh, okay, the the book, the book. I gotta tell you, the book is incredible. It's really helping us. Uh, yep. Because it kind of... It, but again, it's, it's what I was talking about. It's like, there's some items that make it seem like some builds are better than normal. Because, like, if you get them, the build works, and if you don't, it doesn't, really. I could see the uh, the book sort of being that for engineering. And then, kind of, medical turrets, to an extent, can be that for engineering. The same way that you could get explosive rounds or community support, like I was saying. Explosive rounds or community support on, like, a plank build, and, and it would look really, like, a lot better than it normally would. But a build's consistency is, when you're talking about how good something is as a weapon in Brotato, the consistency is kind of the most important thing, because one bad wave with it, and you're dead, or, like, you play the run and you don't get that item that makes it very, very good. Like, if you're playing speedy and you don't get a uh, power generator, you're going to have a bad time compared to somebody who plays speedy and gets power generator. It makes it hard to balance those things because of how good those... Oh, my God. God, I love the book. Oh, my God. The book is carrying this. Like, absolutely carrying this here. Um, uh, Bing, bang, boom. I do want this. Let's go for some rerolls. Tree's not bad. Like, in fact, it's a very good item in general. I do want dodge. I'll take the two engineering, though. Okay. This is probably going to be the scariest wave until... 18? Depending on if we get the... If we get our elite on 18. Or if we get it on... Like, 17 or something. I don't know if you can get them that close to each other. But yeah. Having the book so that, like, we literally get twice as many options to buy engineering is so good. It makes this, like... It's kind of making this playable. That and playing it like a tank. It's making it kind of playable. Mm -hmm. But you know, here's the thing. You're like... The argument for it, besides the damage, is kind of like... I, I didn't even think about this angle until just now. The argument for the angle is, well, play it. You get 12 guaranteed turrets. Yes, that is good. It is good to... Maybe. It is good to get 12 uh, guaranteed turrets. Don't get me wrong. However, Multitasker is not tagged for engineering. Uh, the same way... I mean, God, I, well, that's not... Weapons aren't tagged for things like that. Um, so, you're going to find less engineering items. Like, you're going to find less of those freebie turrets by playing this character. So, it's like, how many turrets are you really gaining? Right? Like, I think that we probably only get a, a, a net, gain, net gain of a couple, but they're all going to be doing less damage than if we were just playing the engineer or something. It's, it's tough. I don't know. I, I'm continually trying to figure out uh, what I think about this this build here today. It's, it's very strange. But I do find that whenever you pick a build and you're like, and your main instinct is, I need to get really tanky, that means it's not a very strong build. If that's your, your first instinct is like, I need to take a lot, be able to take a lot of hits. Oop. 
That's that's not a good sign. And yet we're, we are keeping ourselves alive with minimal damage pickups. That's a good thing about engineering. You don't feel like you need to have to juggle percentage damage and flat damage. It's kind of all-encompassing. It's a maybe for me, but I'm going to say no. Uh, Love it. Okay, now we're going to be moving into the piercing pickups. So that's really nice. Ooh. So that's really nice. And an incendiary turret. Wait, hold on. Schmoop. I'm doing six damage. I gotta be honest. We might if we're doing six damage, we might as well do less. Okay, don't even just get away from that guy. This is um scary and good at the same time. Like, I did not want to fight this mini boss. But the fact that we have a wave 17 mini boss instead of a wave 18 mini boss is, is really, really helpful. Like, that's a big deal. That's just, it's just not a fun wave to have to fight a mini boss, that one. Whoop. Probably gonna be fine here. We're not gonna. Sure as hell not gonna kill the boss, right? Like. I wish. Maybe we get a uh, maybe we get a free legendary turret like an explosive turret. Ow. Yeah, I don't know. Couple couple things make this better than it used to be though. Book being a thing is nice. Guaranteed legendary. Well, no, no, you're never gonna you're never gonna kill a mini boss with this build. Um, the book is is great. It really really helps with this. Um. Yeah. What else? I feel like there's something else. Uh, I mean, yeah, the buff to incendiary turrets is actually really, 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 really helpful, I'd say. I have not gotten a single thing that actually scales off of explosion, so I'm just going to avoid it for now, because I'm on wave 18. Wave 18. God help me. We cannot knock back any of these enemies. We pretty much just have to dodge in circles, but... Thankfully, we, we do have enough turrets now. We got we got pretty darn lucky this run with bonus turret drops at this point. Like, it's one of those items that you see a lot, and I think you just don't realize how many you pass because you're... How often are you doing an engineering build? I, I think it's one of those. But yeah. Two medical, two, two medical, a decent amount of extra bonus turrets, and uh, I think most importantly, the book for a, a guarantee, an extra 21 elemental damage. Because that's the thing, is if I could just transfer all of my money into engineering, this would do so much damage, but you can't. That's just not how the shop works. You can't guarantee that you're going to be uh, getting engineering. However, if you have this extra thing where now it will elemental or engineer help you with that then now it's starting to get kind of spicy look i could take that but i just i feel like i'm trashing a lot uh i'll go with this for now big arms very cool i hate it it's could not be pretty much could not be a less relevant thing for us today i'll go for cake all right I would picture this wave being gently easier than the last one for us. Since most uh, enemies can be knocked back. Basically, the fear is if uh, we get the buff boys buffing up the dodge lads. Like the, the big beefy boys getting buffed up even more. That's pretty much the, that's the nightmare scenario. As long as that doesn't happen too much, we're good. I'm not in really in control of whether or not the uh, the buff lads die, though. That's kind of up to my turrets, whether or not they want to win the game for me or not. Okay. Yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Pod. <laughs> it's always, it's just the whims of the world, dude. Okay, I'll take the three armor. That's 
<laughs> oh, just so much garbage. Just so much garbage. Um, do I buy five dodge? Maybe. Uh, this, that, that works, doesn't it? That works. I th I'm pretty sure. Oh, rip. Sad. What do we not get? Fuel tank. Sad. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the piercing does work to pierce through another enemy. And, you know, as we know, the damage percentage, not quite as important. Or at the very least, I've decided I'm allowing myself to have, like, two damage on my wrench. I think we'll be fine here. I think we'll be fine here. I don't... I don't foresee us killing the bosses because we have obviously the engineering woes but we also have the woes of damage over time most of our damage being from incendiary turrets meaning that we can't stack a lot of it on the boss they're taking a bit more than i thought but oh god screw you it's a it's a really quite good build for surviving the boss and uh, a terrible build for killing it. But honestly, surviving is also a win. Mechanically and literally, it's also a win. Get some distance. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't proc that. Yeah. Kind of hoping we weren't going to proc that. This is a nightmare. Thank you, dodges. Where's my other healing turret? I know there's one on the left. Where was the other one? God, this got so much worse when the guy started running around. Oh, they're just... They keep on spawning by each other. Not every time, but pretty reliably. Yeah. I mean, they're very easy boss wave. A lot of weird, annoying close calls in the middle. But ho hopefully that puts to bed the, uh, like the armchair strategist idea that this is a very high damage build. Because... I don't know, like, I got I got as much engineering stuff as I could possibly get, and I got as much elemental as I could get after getting the book. So it's just like, I don't know what to say. I couldn't, I couldn't make this do more damage if I tried. Like, I literally could not make this do more damage uh, at this point. I'd have to not take any of the tanky stuff, but we just weren't really getting offered. Uh, it, it's basically take engineering or not for damage, and uh, that's that. It's It's done. That being said, what I recommend if you just want to have an easy win on multitasker, play, I don't know, literally anything else, probably, and then stack percentage damage, and you're going to have a great time. Uh, I really do think that that's, that's the way to play that character at this current point, in my opinion. Uh, but hey, I'm glad we got it done, out of the way, under the belt. It went roughly how I thought, nice and nice and tanky is probably the way that, to build this one if you want a chance of survival, really. Because uh, otherwise you are you're relying on the shop to, to just basically help you get lucky. But less. That's that. That's gonna do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.